tonight on Size Eyes on the Skies. We're looking to have a fairly calm week ahead for the rest of the week. And towards the end of the week, we'll be seeing highs in the low 40s. But by the weekend, we could be seeing another chance of snow with a possible wintry mix. I'll have more on that later in the show. Plus, Caleb has your national forecast. All that and much more as this Tuesday, November 27th edition of Size Eyes on the Skies starts now. Live from Studio 171 in Ames, Iowa, the Iowa State Meteorology Department team of meteorologists brings you the latest weather from around the country and out your front door. Iowa State's longest running television program and the only live weather broadcast on campus starts right now. This is Eyes Eyes on the Skies. Welcome back to Size Eyes. I'm now joined by Garrett. So, Garrett, we uh, just came off of Thanksgiving break. Uh, what'd you do? A uh, whole lot of driving. I actually I went down, <coughs> went home to Cedar Rapids on Monday, then drove down to see a friend in Burlington, then drove back to Cedar Rapids, and drove back to Ames on Wednesday, then drove right back home <laughs> again on Wednesday because of work. And, oh. uh, and finally, Wednesday night, Thursday, Friday, I had time to just sit and chill, and then came back here on Saturday to avoid our uh, snowstorm that we were supposed to have here in Ames. Yeah, it went, luck, it went, went south, way south, went further south than anyone predicted. They did still get quite a bit of snowfall in the southeastern Iowa, mm -hmm. but uh, fortunately it's going to be at least dry for the rest of this week. We shouldn't be seeing any chances of snow until at, mm -hmm. at least the weekend. So, yeah. I mean, we'll at least we'll have some time to mm -hmm. enjoy the sunshine for the most part. Mm -hmm. um, but even though in, as we move into the later portion of the week as well, we might be seeing a bit of a warm-up with uh, highs in the low 40s. But as I mentioned too, that snow chance is possible by uh, as we move into the weekend. I'll have more on that as we get into the later portion of the show. And now it's time for tonight's weather story. On this date in 1990, a storm system produced a mix of sleet, snow, freezing rain, and heavy rain across Iowa, bringing an abrupt end to several days of record warmth. Rainfall accumulations were highest in southeastern Iowa, where Fort Madison recorded 3.1 inches of snow. Across the northwestern two-thirds of the state, freezing precipitation left an icy coating and many bridges and contributed to scores of traffic accidents. And now, here's Caleb with a look at what's going on around the country. Thank you, Benjamin. I'll tell you after the break, who's making snow angels with their loved ones coming up. Welcome back. Now here's Caleb with a look at what's going on around the country. Thanks, Benji. And just for the record, I personally prefer snowball fights over snow angels. But as we get going to the current temperature map here, we see this big Arctic air mass going on all the way through the eastern two-thirds of the country. 20 degrees in Kansas City, 25 in Cincinnati. If you want to find some warmth, you got to go all the way to the west coast, south, south central Florida, or south central uh, Texas, and also Florida. Otherwise, you're most likely below freezing. Temperatures right now across the, the heartland, we have 22 degrees in Des Moines, pretty much in the, in the low to mid-20s, a little bit closer to 30, 32 in North Platte and 37 in Rapid City as you go further west towards the Rockies. Currently in the, nor the, north in the northeast, where they're having the remnants of the winter storm up here, we have 36 degrees in Augusta, 41 in Boston, a little bit more mild on the coast. But as you go further inland towards Canada, you're, you're going below freezing into those lower 30s. As we progress to the southeast here, we have 63 in Miami, 45 in Jacksonville, but even in Huntsville, 33 degrees. I bet they're not used to that at this time of the year in Alabama. Going to the southwest, 49 in Albuquerque, a little bit colder as you go into the higher elevation, but a little bit warmer as you go uh, towards the lower elevation, 74 in Phoenix, a good 60 at Las Vegas, that sounds perfect right now, and 66 degrees in Los Angeles. In the northwest, again, we're fairly chilly at 41 in Casper, Wyoming, a 53 in Denver, and a 32 in the town of Missoula. I always thought that was a good name for a town, very strong. As we go into the upper atmosphere, this shows us in general where is the cold air mass, where is the warm air mass. And so we see that these colors with the, uh, the blues and the light greens um, denote a lower heights in the atmosphere, which means that we have a lot of cold air in this region of the atmosphere, cold air in place for a winter storm, per se. 
Whereas in the southwest here, where we see the jet stream go up a little bit towards the Canadian border, we have a lot of this warmer air filtering in from the south-southwest. And so we're seeing a little bit of a clash of the seasons here between the southwest and the northeast. And as we progress into tomorrow morning, we see this pocket of cold air move towards the east, um, off the coast, and we're seeing a little bit of a moderation in terms of temperatures in the Midwest. And we'll get to that in your Iowa forecast. And moving into uh, through the day on Thursday until Thursday night, this pocket of cold air is really uh, moving off the Alpha mainland here, and we're seeing some warmer, moderate temperatures return towards the southern tier states. Current satellite uh, picture, we see um, the remnants of some, a major winter storm that impacted Iowa in the Midwest just two days ago, and it's progressed all the way towards the northeast. And we see in the backside of the system, we have a lot of cold, cold air in place, as denoted by the last map, and so we have a lot of snow, so even some lake effect snow coming off Lake Erie, or sorry, Lake Ontario, and Lake Erie by Cleveland as well, even Lake Michigan. So we're seeing a lot of breezy conditions and snow, which can really uh, deduce or reduce vi um, visibility. Sorry, can't say that very well. The current uh, hazards map, we have a fair amount of winter storm warnings highlighting the pink shading, and a good amount, I, I believe, of winter weather advisories in the purple. And we even have some uh, freeze watches and warnings coming on towards the southeast coast in southern Georgia and the south and North Carolina coast and even some more winter weather advisories up in the Dakotas as they prepare for more snow later this week as well. Looking at our weather model here, we see the remnants of the storm in the northeast progress throughout the day tomorrow. We're starting to see that the snow start to diminish a little bit across the interior northeast. We do see another sort of clipper system um, hitting Minnesota and northern Wisconsin, areas where they've already seen a lot of snow in place this fall season. The extended forecast city tonight is Erie, Pennsylvania. It doesn't look too great for this town right now. We're getting a lot of lake effect snow uh, tonight into tomorrow. 90% chance of snow uh, tomorrow. Temperatures right around freezing, not changing very much as we go through the rest of the week. A slight warm up, so we see a lot of that rain or a lot of that snow in the midweek turn into rain as we head into the weekend with the warm up, and then we start to cool back down towards next week. But still, a lot of precipitation in the forecast. Thanks, Caleb. Now let's take a look at tonight's trivia question. What is the name of the winter storm that passed through southern Iowa on Sunday as given by the Weather Channel? Is it A, Bruce, B, Benji, C, Caleb, or D, Carter? Uh, we'll, have that, we'll have your answer coming right up. Now let's have a look at the week ahead with Garrett. Thank you, Benji. As uh, Caleb was alluding to a little bit, um, as we head into the later portions of the week, we'll be warming up just a little bit. But right now, looking at current conditions here in Ames, we're sitting at about a chilly 19 degrees outside, fairly clear skies all across uh, at least central portions of the, uh, the state. Winds still out of the west, southwest, fairly calm. So, I mean, it's still feeling pretty nice. That field temperature starting to get down there quite, uh, quite a bit as well. We'll get more into that after the break. Well, welcome back. I'm meteorologist Garrett Hyde, and as, as uh, Caleb was mentioning, and as, my, as well as myself, we'll have a calm week ahead as we hit more uh, uh, westerly flow moving into the into this state here, with lows get or up uh, highs into the low 40s as we get portions of the later or as we get later into the week. Um, and then we have another snow chance late in the weekend. We'll uh, take a peek on that a little bit in just a little bit. But right now, temperatures all across the state, as I mentioned, 19 here in Ames. Our neighbors down to the south in Des Moines are right around 22 degrees up north. You guys in Spencer sitting around 21 degrees. Council Bluffs, 19. So it's feeling very cold all across the state. And these are the wind chills. Even though it is fairly calm outside, it is feeling a little bit cooler. I mean, here in Ames, it feels like 12 degrees. Des Moines, mostly fairly calm winds there as uh, they're still at about the same temperature. You guys here in Ottumwa, down at 7 degrees. And um, all of our friends here in Burlington sitting about 4 degrees, what it's feeling like outside. So fairly chilly night tonight. Wind speeds all across Iowa, fairly calm. We still have a fairly westerly uh, flow for tonight. Um, that's going to keep temperatures uh, fairly moderate, uh, at least for this time of year anyway. Taking a look at a satellite and radar picture, not a whole lot going on, at least here in Iowa, fairly clear. A couple upper level clouds, but we do have a couple flurries all across the states around us up in Wisconsin um, and South Dakota. Uh, but here in, the here in Iowa, we're fairly quiet. Take a look at future cast. This is going to be a quite a bit of a zoom out for as we go through the week. We could have a couple flurries up in northern Iowa uh, late Wednesday night. Um, and then Thursday will be calm, Friday calm, a couple clouds roll through. And then Saturday, we have that chance of some possible rain, mixed precipitation, and snow late, uh, early Saturday and, and late Friday night. Um, these snow chances are going to continue through uh, the day on Sunday. We could lead, bleed in a little bit into Monday 
or it's going to be feeling that it's uh, feeling fairly cloudy, but it's going to be quite a ways out. So not, don't take anything you see here with uh, too seriously. Just take it with a bit of a grain of salt. Um, AMs we could be seeing somewhere around three inches, a little bit heavier up to the north. But again, this is over a week out. We're not going to be seeing. I wouldn't. I wouldn't take this too seriously right now. Um, it's definitely something that you just kind of keep an eye on um, as we move into the later portions of the week with those snowfall chances starting to kind of rise up just a little bit. For tonight, anyway, we'll be seeing some increasing clouds as we head into tomorrow. Uh, we'll have a low right on 14 degrees with winds still out of the west. By the time the sun starts to rise and heat up, most of Iowa will be seeing highs around 30 degrees. Uh, mostly cloudy skies all across Iowa, especially here in Ames and southeast. Uh, winds uh, right around 13 miles an hour. For the uh, next few days ahead, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we're going to be fairly calm, but warming up a little bit in, into the low 40s. Saturday, we can see a chance of rain. Sunday, Monday is those chances of snow. Um, and then Tuesday will be drying out and dropping back down below freezing. Thanks, Garrett. Now let's take another look at tonight's trivia question. What is the name of the winter storm that passed through southern Iowa on Sunday and is now in uh, the New England area uh, as given by the Weather Channel? Is it A, Bruce, B, Benji, C, Caleb, or D, Carter? Caleb, your name is up there. What do you think? It is. My name's up there, but Bruce is the name of the, of the big shark in Nemo, Finding Nemo. So that's a very mm -hmm. aggressive name. I could see Rich that potentially our friend, being not food. <laughs> what do you think, Garrett? Hmm. Well, your name is up there as well. Uh, I didn't know they named Winter Storms to begin with, um, so apparently, yeah, I guess it is Bruce. Well, only the Weather Channel names Winter Storms, yeah, which is very controversial, <laughs> too, in the, in the weather. It gets a lot of people upset yeah. sometimes. Yeah. It's, just, it's just not necessary. I mean, it wasn't like a significant snowstorm to begin with. So do you not agree. think by putting a name on it, people pay more attention, perhaps? That's the only I mean, reason why they would pay but attention to them anyway. <laughs> <laughs> weather service. That's they give, attention they give hurricanes names, which I think are is a rightful name. Yeah, especially I mean, since they cause a little more destruction and whatnot. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah. it looks like we might have some snow in central Iowa perhaps this weekend. It's pretty early to tell exact mm -hmm. amounts. Definitely, yeah. Uh, fortunately, it doesn't seem to be running it being too much. It's going to kind of flip what happened uh, last weekend. So instead of getting it in the south, looks like they're going to get more of it. Mm -hmm in the northern portions of the state, so. And remember everybody, when, it, when you have ice and snow, take it slow. <laughs> it's one of our new sayings. I like that, Ryan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like that, I've not heard Exclusively that on size eyes, too, so. Yeah. Take it slow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how uh, you Minnesotans handle the <laughs> winter storm yeah. in the roads up there. Or just don't go outside. Um, yeah. Well, that concludes tonight's show. Uh, please be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter, and you can find every show on YouTube under our Size Size channel. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you on Thursday.